the hydrosphere is the most significant sphere which influences Minamoa River. There's three main components. Firstly, in the marine system, east of where I'm standing right now, out in the ocean, we've got a saltwater marine environment. So that means that obviously we've got salty water, but that water is also tidal. It rises and it falls twice a day, and that process is driven by the moon's gravity. Finally, we expect to find waves there, either large deconstructive waves that cause erosion to, to riverbanks and to shore edges, or constructive waves, ones that deposit sediment from the ocean onto the shores of the beaches to lead to the formation of wind. To the west of me in the mountains, that's where we find our fluvial systems. Fluvial is a term that means fresh water. That's where we find our creeks and our streams that are driven by rainfall events, which just flow down through the rainforest and through farmland till they meet in this area here. Now this is the final component, which is known as the estuary. This is a combination of both these sites. We've got salt water from the marine system and fresh water from the fluvial system mixing together to form what's called brackish water. Now this brackish water is also tidal, which means at the moment it is low tide, but in about six hours time where I'm standing will be about knee deep, and there'll be a lot more extensive coverage of water. It's rare to find waves in an estuary though. Only in the strongest of storm events would we get small little ripples that might cause erosion to stream bank. And that's what differentiates this site from the marine environment. Yes, we've got tides. Yes, we've got salt in our water, but it's that lack of waves which really characterizes this estuary. These components are obviously the driving force of the river, and it depends on which site you're studying as to which one is the dominant factor. Out at the estuary now, um, that is a typically a marine system. We've got tides, we've got salt water, and we've got waves all impacting that site. Behind me and at many of the other study sites we've looked at today, this is the estuarine environment where we've got tides and that brackish water. However, it's low energy. There's very low impact from waves in this site. And finally, although we're not seeing it, uh, the fluvial system west of me here is very important for a range of freshwater invertebrates and bird life as that ecosystem is really quite rare across um, the coastline of Australia and, and really is home to a whole variety of plants and animals.